In this video, you will learn how to use the basic features of your QLogic 3 EX hand control. You may also hear the word hand control referred to as a joystick by others. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the buttons, lever, speed knob, and charging port on the hand control. Note that the charging port is located on the back of the hand control. For more information on charging your chair, please see our tutorial regarding this topic. Turn on your chair by flipping the lever upward on the left side of the hand control. You will then see the Quantum logo as your chair turns on. Let's go over the information on the screen. On the top left corner of the hand control display, you will see a green circle shown here. This circle will change colors to alert you of drive or function inhibits. A green circle means that your chair speed is full and not reduced and that you are able to drive up to the top speed offered on your chair. A yellow circle with a dash indicates a reduced speed restriction. A red circle with an X indicates that the chair is in drive lockout. This means that something is preventing the chair from driving. This could be due to the angle and positioning of the seat or a technical issue such as the motor not being engaged. The green circle with an I means that your seat is currently elevated with the eye level feature engaged on the chair. When the seat is elevated, your driving speed will be reduced. The speed varies depending on which model of chair you are using. Not all quantum power wheelchairs offer the eye level feature or have it equipped. Refer to your power wheelchair supplier for more information. The time is displayed in the top middle of the screen directly above the drive profile name, which in this case is indoor slope. Underneath the drive profile name is the speedometer to let you know how fast you are traveling in your chair. Below the speedometer is the odometer. On the right side of the display is the speed indicator. This meter is a visual indicator of how fast your chair will move. To decrease the top speed of the chair, scroll down on the speed knob. To increase the top speed of the chair, scroll up on the speed knob. Your chair may be equipped with different drive profiles. Changing the profile on your chair will allow your chair to travel at different top end speeds depending on how your chair is set up. To move to the next profile on your chair, press up on the lever on the left side of the joystick. Your chair may also be equipped with an auxiliary profile and a seating profile. We will cover both the auxiliary profile and the seating profile in other respective video tutorials. The seating profile allows you to operate the power seat functions of your chair. The function of the seat that you are going to operate will be highlighted in yellow. You can then navigate to the next power seat function by giving a right joystick command or navigate to the previous power seat function by giving a left joystick command. Here, we will cycle through tilt, recline, seat elevation, and articulating foot platform by giving right joystick commands. For example, to tilt your seat back, Press and hold the joystick in a reverse position until your desired angle of tilt is reached. Then release the joystick. To return to your neutral position, press and hold the joystick forward until your desired position is reached. Note how when we use the seat elevation feature, eye level is activated as shown by the green circle with the eye in the top left. Remember, we will be covering the seat functions in more detail on another video. Below the screen, you have four buttons in this order. One, home, horn, and two. The one and two buttons can be programmed by your dealer to perform a multitude of different functions. By default, pressing the one key will take you to your drive profile screen, and pressing the two key will take you to your seating profile screen. The buttons can be programmed for individual use depending on each client's unique needs. Pressing the house button will take you to your home screen. At the home screen, a forward command will take you into the drive profiles for your chair. A left command will take you to the settings on your hand control. For more information, please refer to our tutorial on chair settings. A reverse command will take you to the power seat functions profile. For more information, please see our tutorial on power seat functions. Pressing the horn button will sound your horn. Turn your chair off. Press down on the lever on the left side of the hand control. Thanks for watching.